Sweet, I guess. Hello everyone, this is Sakasar Dark Fang. Finally came out. Um, as you can see, I'm going to be playing Dream Daddy. If I sound a little tired, I literally just woke up. It's like 7.22 in the freaking morning. Having a little Starbucks mocha. Gonna be playing some Dream Daddy, so let's just uh let's just go ahead and get into it though, shall we? Spend less money than you make. Try to drive in a way where you never have to use your brakes. <laughs> I like how it's giving you dad tips. By the way, this is made by Game Grumps, so this ought to be interesting with their sense of humor. Dad? Dad, wake up! Wake up, pretend to be dead, five more minutes. Well, let's see. If this is like a child or something, then I want to just have a little fun. I'm going to pretend to be dead. I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Eh. Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad! This hasn't worked on me since I was six! I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Oh! Oh, the end! This is so near! Amanda, please, take my hand! Dad, I swear to God. Amanda, I bequeath to you all my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. My beautiful, lazy boy recliner. Okay, well, your corpse better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. Aww. Holy shit! That's supposed to be my kid. She's adopted. I, fi I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. <laughs> did I just did I just lose my cuddling thing or something? I yawn and stretch. Uh, morning, Manda Panda. Ugh. Yikes. Dad, breathe. Go brush your teeth. Oh, screw you. <laughs> Dad said number 62, whistle while you work. Don't trust gas station egg sandwiches. That is actually quite true if you think of Futurama. Oh, my God. These dads. Feel have... that dad. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. We get, we get to build, huh? Okay. I'm guessing this is a... Uh, me... So I get to build my dad. I. Ooh. Oh my. <laughs> I, do, for people who don't know, I do like a dad with some belly to him. Uh, ooh, that, that, that actually. Uh, let's see here. We have default. We have that. Oh my god. I'm gonna be spending a lot of time with this. Oh, oh, I get to name myself. Okay. Uh. Saku. Sorrow. Fang. Arama. Sakasaro Fang Arama's our daddy! <laughs> Be that dad! Oh my god, this is amazing. I need another quick sip of Starbucks before I continue. <laughs> Did you fall asleep again packing? I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed, except for one. Wait, straggler. Hmm. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and little photo albums. All right. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. I pull out the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. Oh my god. You can tell she's going through the fug life. Huh. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. The only way your father and I, the only way your mother and I, hmm, where to go from here? I'm going to go with the father and I. The only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. Really? That's a weird baby. But whenever we try to take him off, you start crying again. Hmm, she wants the thug life now. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice. Halloween when you were maybe four. Oh my god, that is quite cute. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, that dragon costume! You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so we went with both. Princess dragon. Oh my god, it's princess dragon yum yum. Huh? Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Hmm. Right. Yep, definitely repress that memory. And this was in your horse phase. Oh my god, I'm getting a Jesse from Toy Story. Oh. Dad! I believe you named that plush horse Sir... Sir Horsington the Brave! Ah. I don't think that was his... Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. These superior arms, yush! You will never get past my chubby belly my great arms. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. I'm going to be a wonderful dad in the real life. <laughs> Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in your ska bay. Ska band? Never heard of that. Ouch, kid. <laughs> The Scamunius Manifesto has a chance back in the day. I look off in the, to the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. It was so horny. Hey, it's Emma P. I'm guessing it's the lady in the left. Ugh. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honestly, I promise you, wholeheartedly, That'll never stop mixing those two up. Aww. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who... Tried to steal people's pants? <laughs> Fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station? Pooped her pants during a sleepover? Mmm. Should I go the more sarcastic, joking, or more realistic route? Hmm. Starbucks helps me think. Not sponsored. I'll be nice and said pooper pants. Ugh. Dad, that was me. I did that. Well, you should learn to hold your bladder, my dear. Oh. Oh. Hmm. And I was having a sleepover with Emma R, who isn't Emma P. Hmm. She never told anyone, though. True blue, that Emma R. Oh. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. First photography award you ever won. It was of a ladybug. How cute. <laughs> yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFridays. <laughs> and then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tostada blast? I think you mean food poisoning. You know, with a Z. Aww. Dad! Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. <laughs> Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches down deep into the box and pulls out one last photo. Hmm. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo. Oh, crap. That is not us talking. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a very long moment. What is that? It says, I love you, Amanda. Aww. Uh. I finally decide to break the silence. That was the day you were born. This was the day we adopted you. Oh, my God. Um. Hmm. Trying to think of how to go here, because I don't like the idea of using women to get a baby, but in some cases, you want to do that so you have a child, and you know it's bloodborne you, so you have some sort of little blood connection there. Uh, but I'm going to say adopt. It's kind of a funny story. The day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. It... Holy shit. It wasn't anything big, just a little fender bender in the parking lot. But of course, I was freaking out, which literally I do. Quick story here. One time my ex and I, we were coming back from work, and he and I were completely tired. We were trying to get to the gas station. Next thing we know, we got hit a little bit from the rear, and I literally started freaking out. I started panicking. I started worried that the bags were going to deploy and every shit that um things are all going to go to hell <laughs> that it's the end of the world for us but no i pretty much had to slap myself just to stay calm <laughs> anyway back to the game and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out and i didn't know what to do but your father 
Oh, man. He holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes. The calmest I ever seen him. He says, it's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Uh. He was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. I miss him. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Ah. Uh. She pats me on the back. Hmm. Come on, Pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Ah. A man and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. Where are we from? I got Lay's. What kind of car is this? What kind of surrounding is it? Are we in Hawaii or something? Please say we're in Hawaii. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Shit! 20 years. <sighs> hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? Darn you kids in your balls. You always have very strong arms. Huh. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You are a very imaginative child. I am very forgiving. <laughs> hey, remember when I broke the back window play? We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Eh? And there'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. Mm -hmm. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It'll forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rearview mirror. So... So what? Hmm. So sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat. <clears> and <throat> do my best cheesy announcer voice. Nestled in beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features. Wash our door hookup, a two-car garage, multiple places to sleep. Sleep is always important, kids. Multiple places to sleep. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. <laughs> What a deal. I mean, if sleep weren't for the week. You sleep more than anyone I know. Hmm. I admit my faults, Pops. I keep it real. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. <laughs> Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. <laughs> I think it's great. Won't be, close, won't be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to. So I don't have to waste gas. And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know, Amanda. You know you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Hmm. Not going to happen, pups. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Huh. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Hmm. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? Get off my lawn! I'm a Soldier 76 cosplayer! Arr. You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Huh? I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real... Ah. Don't you dare. Senior. Hmm. <laughs> Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. Hmm. I'm just gonna ignore that. Huh. But I won't forget it. So what item number one on the new house's agenda? Well, first we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. We need to get that fucking internet working so I can play some goddamn Overwatch and Paladins and other games like Dad Simulator. Hey. Hmm. Pops, quit your jets. You have no problem. You have to promise me we're gonna take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pull up to the new house and step, in, step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. I will say that is a beautiful house. <laughs> yeah! And with a sweat clicker on my man, the for sale sign is no more. The fuck did she go into karate or something? I thought we agreed we'd put her in self-defense class. Nice form, sweet pea. <laughs> I got a problem with authority. I got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. Mm -hmm. 
man. All that karate chopping tucking me out. I could really go for a sandwich. <laughs> An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. We need to unpack first. I need some coffee ASAP. Did you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? <gasps> dogs. But we're gonna... I don't know what to say here. So many good options. Uh, I need some coffee as soon as possible. I gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice. Oh my god, did dads really say that? Or I'm gonna be useless all day. I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. Minimize eating fried food, candies, and sweets. Don't you dare tell me that tip! I'm gonna erase that tip. <laughs> We walk down the street to the coffee spoon. Cute. A cute little place on the corner. Alright! Man, this is in such convenient you walk distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Hmm. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? That is surprisingly true for me as well. When it comes to, like, going to a Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks, I'm like, do I even want to really be here? At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me, and I won't feel, like, a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he is very much within my personal zone. Personal space, bro. I have my coffee. Huh? Dad. And what's the etiquette when you... Have a dirty mug. Is there a bin? Do you go set set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there's in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're that jerk who left their mug? Dad. Dad. Are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes. <laughs> yes, Amanda. We walk inside. Huh. Hey. Oh my god, this is beautiful! And your cupcakes are beautiful in the back, too. I mean, look at that shit! Those are some beautiful cupcakes I can see in there. I want a cupcake now. Oh my god, your prices! They're beautiful! Except I want to know what's seven bucks. I really want to know what's seven bucks. I hope that's like a special or something. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls and patrons lounge around on well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. Oh. Hey, yo, welcome to the Coffee Spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Oh. Oh, it's, uh, it's kind of dumb. Hey. It gets mentioned in the poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time. And I suppose now it's still a good idea, because, like, the business is still running? Hmm. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them this same answer every time and now i'm standing here rambling and i'm sure we're all getting more and more comfortable the more i keep talking about man we're in it now and i can't stop and you need to put some uh breaks here man i don't see a single comma or period anywhere except the very end hey dude awkward silence check hmm so what will it be hmm I scan the chalkboard menu and I'm immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a... Godspeed you, black coffee! <laughs> Ice, Tegan, Ice Tegan and Sarah or Chai Antwoord? I'm gonna go for the black coffee! Hey! A classic. Oh my god, hearts came out of his ass. Did he fart it? 